Hi, I'm Matt Dean, a broker with Remax Realty Specialist at mattdeanrealty.com. You may have heard changes were announced by the CMHC, the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, for qualifying borrowers who have less than 20% down payment for their mortgage. These rules are for homes under $1 million, so it will have a greater effect on the condo market than freehold homes market in the immediate Toronto area. These changes could affect your purchasing power as much as 11%. Note that these changes do not affect real estate investors or those refinancing their existing homes. The key changes are, at least one borrower must have a credit score of 680 or more. This is up from a minimum score of 640, not a huge difference. There are ways to improve your credit score and get it up to 680. And honestly, it's important that homeowners have good credit. If you are unsure what your accurate credit score is, you can obtain this through Equifax.ca. The second change is they require a maximum GDS or gross debt service ratio of 35%, which is down from 39%. And thirdly, a TDS total debt service ratio of 42% down from 44%. Debt service ratio is your income minus your expenses, including the mortgage you are applying for. This is a measure of affordability and guards against defaults if your rates or expenses fluctuate. And lastly, no more borrowing your down payment from unsecured loans or credit cards. It is still possible to have money gifted to you for your down payment if you are smart about it. Remember, money for your down payment should always be in your bank account or a GIC for a minimum three months before buying a home. Unfortunately, this will impact the first time home buyer who is trying to get into the market with a limited budget and lower down payment. Those buyers may be pushed further outside the city to smaller towns. Fortunately, the other two mortgage insurers, Genworth and Canada Guarantee, have so far not followed CMHC's lead. So your mortgage broker has an option of sending your mortgage proposal to those two insurers to get you approved without the impact of the changes. Of course, there's no guarantee the insurers will not eventually fall in line. For real estate investors, this could create more rental demand for those who do not want to move out of the city but can no longer afford to buy and must rent. All that being said, I do not believe this is going to affect the market as drastically as the stress test did in 2017. And you still have two weeks to secure a home before the new rules take effect. So call me and we can discuss your options and get you into that home you are dreaming of quickly. I'm happy to help because as always, it's all about you.